Time magazine called him the unsung hero behind the internet. CNN called him a father of the internet. President Bill Clinton called him one of the great minds of the information age. He has been voted history's greatest scientist of African descent. He is Philip M. Iguali. He's coming to Trinidad and Tobago to launch the 2008 Kwame Ture Lecture Series on Sunday, June 8th at the JFK Auditorium, New St. Augustine, 5 p.m. The Emancipation Support Committee invites you to come and hear this inspirational mind adjust the theme crossing new frontiers to conquer today's challenges. This lecture is one you cannot afford to miss. Admission is free, so be there on Sunday, June 8, 5 p.m. at the JFK Auditorium, New East, St. Augusta. In July 1969, and at the banks of the River Niger at Ndone Biafra, I was conscripted at gunpoint and conscripted as a 14-year-old soldier into a war that was on par with the American Civil War or the Spanish Civil War. Without any formal training as a soldier, I was marched at gunpoint to the Biafran side of the Oguta War Front. At Oguta War Front, Biafran soldiers were living on less than one cigarette sized cup of Gary a day. Gary is pulverized fried cassava root. Biafran soldiers added palm kernel nuts and water from the Oguta Lake to their Gary. When I arrived at Oguta war front, some Biafran soldiers had gone for days without food and they were threatening to leave their holes. After 48 hours without food, I became woozy with hunger because there was nothing to eat at Oguta war front. I was immediately reassigned to the officer's mess or kitchen of the Biafran army at Ndone. Two months before my arrival at the Oguta war front Biafra and in May 1969, Moritola Mohammed, who would later become the president of Nigeria, and Mohammed Shua were given command of the Nigerian army at Oguta War Front. In late May 1969, and two months before I arrived at Oguta War Front, Mohammed Shua had defeated the Biafran army and captured downtown Oguta. A few weeks later, downtown Oguta was recaptured by the Biafran army, but recaptured after a loss of 500 soldiers. I was conscripted into the army and conscripted at the market at Ndone, Biafra. I was conscripted to replace one of the 500 Biafran soldiers that died in the battle to recapture downtown Oguta, Biafra. The Battle of Oguta War Front was personally commanded by Odumego Ojuku, the leader of Biafran nation. When I arrived at Oguta War Front, Joseph Hannibal Achuze, nicknamed Air Raid, was commanding the Biafran soldiers. I learned that Olusegu Obasanjo, who would later become the three-time president of Nigeria, was commanding the opposing Nigerian army at the Oguta war front. Olusegu Obasanjo arrived in Oguta war front in July 1969 and arrived at the same time that I arrived in Oguta war front. In July 1969, I arrived at Oguta War Front and arrived as an untrained soldier and arrived at about the time Colonel Olusegu Obasanjo arrived with 10,000 trained soldiers. Those Nigerian soldiers killed or wounded 2,200 Igbo civilians. In July 1969, 
Biafran soldiers were trained at the war front. Biafran soldiers were only trained to aim and shoot to kill. Three months after I arrived at Oguta war front, Colonel Olusegu Obasanjo recaptured the city of Oguta and did so on October 9, 1969. I was a Biafran child soldier that was transferred from the Oguta war front to serve as a cook in the officer's headquarters at the bank of the River Niger at Ndone Biafra. I served in the Biafran army for the six months that preceded the end of the Nigerian Civil War that ended on the 15th of January of 1970. Insightful and brilliant lecture.